when you're looking for a president, you gotta look uh, for the president to fit the needs of like everyone. I think the most important quality would have to be honesty and make sure that he follows all his policies that he proposed while, before he was elected. Values, experience, um, reputation. I think the most important quality in choosing the next president would be um, experience and just having, just telling the truth all the time. Truth and trust. That they would want to follow as a leader, someone who really has a vision. Well, I want to say honesty, but we know that's not true. So, probably policy reform. Basically, just honesty, just being a straightforward person, blunt. If someone's been involved in politics already. Um, someone's going to bring about change. Um, experience is very important. I think it's one of the most important things that a president should have. It's not extremely important, but it's something that I do actually value and I think about when choosing a candidate. Wow. The fun experience. <laughs> so if someone has a lifetime of experience in Washington DC politics, there's an upside and there's a downside. The upside of it is that they really understand how the machine works, you know, what's how to operate in that realm. But on the other hand, um, and the downside, which a lot of people are complaining about, is that, you know, you become myopic. You, you, you take on the views of all those people who work in Washington and you sometimes lose sight of, oftentimes lose sight of, what regular everyday people are dealing with. Very important. You need a president that knows what he, do, what he or she is doing. Because I'm old, <laughs> I think experience is uh, very important. Experience always plays a big role in anything. Um, the problem with being president is that there's nothing like it. So whatever experience you get coming up, that doesn't really mean that you're going to be a good president. It's like, important, but not so important because there's a lot of people who have had experience and still suck at being the president. <laughs> We're screwed. <laughs> uh, My opinion on war is it needs to stop because I understand that the, we're losing a lot of money for that war. Honestly, I think we should end the war, set up um, you know, good security in Iraq and come back home because we have to worry about America as well. The war would be better if it was for a good cause, but right now it's kind of like pointless. Like we're getting nowhere with it, you know? It just started like a bigger conflict. There's more countries looking at us as like the bad guys. It's a waste of money. As a country, I think that our leaders in general are trying to be world police, which I don't think is right. I mean, I think we should have ties with you know, outside countries and stuff like that, but we need to focus more on what's happening inside our own borders and worry about you know, that a little bit less. Kind of turn the focus, not get rid of it, but my, my take on it is it's about a 60-40. We should reverse it to a 60-40 the other way. I think we should be getting ourselves out of the war a little bit because we could spend a lot of different a lot of our money in different things like healthcare and other things like that. My view on healthcare is that everyone should have health care definitely. I mean it's a necessity but that's not realistic. Because um, if we didn't have so much capitalism in our healthcare system it wouldn't be as good as it is. There's no way. Competition drives for better products, you know, better products, better medicine. Therefore, with the competitions comes better medicines. So, I mean, it needs to be, it, there's, we have a shitty system, but it's the best one in the world, so. I think there's, there's, there's things that you can do that make better healthcare, like make sure that people that don't make as much money have, you know, they can get help health insurance, better stuff like that to make sure that they can have a better life, a healthy life. You know, I think it would decline for those who are well off. Uh, do I think their health would decline? No. I think that their feelings that they can get service of any kind that they want immediately um, would because there would be a greater demand and greater access to those same services among a greater number of people. To live, I mean, you that, that's you, you have to have uh, good health and stuff and you really can't have good health with all the the like not having health care I don't know how you want to fix it to tell the truth um, health care is a big issue and 
as far as I'm concerned, um, nobody's really addressed the fact that until you get commercialism, for-profit um, health care out of the business and make all health care providers be non-profit, uh, then, then they're not really going to be able to address the problem. But nobody wants to address that because, of course, the lobbyists for the for-profit health care are throwing a lot of money into this campaign. Okay, Hillary Clinton wants to be like a radicalist as far as changing it. But it's like we need to be real and look at it logically and try to change it slowly, have it progress instead of just make the change. But I just think the whole economy is screwed up and we just need to fix it all together. I think that should be a social thing where everyone gets health care regardless of age or uh, money that they make. I think everyone just should get it overall.